Hey, okay, welcome back to Frank's Garage. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you want to see more videos like this one. Now, on this video, it's going to be a short one also. Um, we're going to be covering uh, one uh, concern that a viewer brought to me about these uh, breather filters. So, the uh, breather filter... Um, the, the purpose or the idea behind it is to el eliminate the hose that comes out of the uh, breather outlet that goes to this inlet on the intake tube. Um, the, all the reason for that is that apparently, well, there is oil that transfers over into the intake tube because of that hose the filter is you know for it to vent out into atmosphere well uh the concern that the viewer brought to me was that uh he he understands that the engine needs to breathe and it uses the intake uh, to help it breathe better when the engine is running. Well, this is how it works. Uh, when you're at full throttle or you're pressing on the gas, uh, there's no air going in the engine. It's the air or the gases that the engine produces are actually going out of the engine into the intake. If it, if you leave it with the hose that it has right now, sorry that I'm moving a lot. I got mosquitoes around, and I don't want. I, I would hate to turn on the fan, um, and have background noise. And I got a little bit of allergies, so that's why you also hear me mess around with my nose a little bit. Um. Anyways, the uh, um, I was saying. Uh, when you're when you're driving, there's no air going into the engine. It's all going out. So that being said, uh, there is oil that's going to go through the hose into the intake tube, and it's just going to accumulate in there. And I'm going to show you what it causes. I mean, look at look at that the. Uh, throttle body that is caused by no other than oil going into the intake tube thanks to the hose that is right there now also right here at the uh intake tube let me turn on this light this oil oil residue the only way oil can actually go into that part of the uh, intake system is through the hose. Well, and a lot of people, a lot of guys are putting these filters on this end right here to eliminate that problem. Okay. Now, yes, it's not the best solution. I completely understand that. It... It kind of looks cool, but it's not the best solution. And here's why. When you're at full throttle, your engine... Not, let's not always say full throttle. Let's just say you press it on the gas pedal. Uh, obviously, your engine goes up on RPM and you move faster, obviously. But your engine makes a lot of crankcase pressure that pressure needs to go out somewhere right that's why you have the pcv valve and this uh breather end on this side every car has both okay uh every car is going to have a breather and a pcv valve hose okay so that crankcase pressure has to go out somewhere that's why you have those but here's the thing. Uh, 
if you have a filter and this is because I did my my uh, research if you have a filter there is nothing pulling that uh, crankcase pressure out of the engine it's just atmospheric pressure so um, not not a lot when you had the when you have the hook closed and you're pressing on the gas and air is going in but nothing is pulling that okay here's the thing this PCV valve only opens at idle okay it lets air go through here at idle when you uh, and um, when you are pressing on the gas that closes up and then air goes through here so normally the air that will go out through there uh, at when you're pressing on the gas, it's gonna go through that breather tube. It's gonna look for an exit, and that's where it goes to the breather tube. In this case, I have a breather filter. Uh, since I have the filter, there's nothing pulling that out. Okay, there's completely nothing pulling that out. So, uh, the best way to put it, or the best way to do this, is to put a catch can. Um, not a lot of not a lot of people are uh, very good at just making the hole where there is no hole and uh, mounting up something brand new or practically universal, which is a oil catch can. That's completely universal. Why do I say universal? Because you can pretty much fit it on any car. And it's not, there's a lot of different types of oil catch cans out there that are not specifically made for one car. But I would say the mounts are specifically made for one car, but not the actual unit itself. Okay. So that being said, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. That being said, I'm going to order two catch cans, one for this car and one for the Camry that I had done before with a breather filter. And since I ordered, sorry for the camera shake, uh, since I had ordered a short ram for this engine also, I'm still waiting on it. Uh, I'm supposed to arrive tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, when I put it on uh, loosely, I'm not gonna put it on tight. When I put it on loosely, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much space I got. I'm hoping I got some space on this side right here. Maybe maybe around here somewhere where I can just drill a hole and mount it up. Okay. Uh, in that case. Once I have it in a, in a good spot, that's when I'm gonna then route a hose to where this breather filter is and a secondary hose, which will be the outlet of the oil cash can. Uh, that outlet hose is gonna go directly to the breather inlet of the new intake pipe that comes with a short ram, okay? So yeah, I do have space over there to mount it up, but I don't know if having it so far away, you see where it is right here, I'm not sure if having it so far away could affect its performance. Um, I'm still debating on that, but I believe the closer it is to where it's connected to the engine, the better it'll be I, that's my opinion uh you guys might have a different opinion if you do please let me know in the comments below um that is going to be uh my final decision sorry i got mosquitoes around me and i'm trying not to get bitten um i gotta i gotta keep myself moving around a little bit so i apologize for that anyhow um so that being shown right now, you know, I, I, I need to 
figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to order those two catch cans tonight. And, uh, yeah. So, quickly, before my battery dies on, on the camera. Uh, this is what I've done so far on the Nissan. Uh, if you guys remember, I have, uh, I, I took out the rack and pinion because it blew out. All the seals blew out, basically. Uh, I put that on because, well, it looks nice. Not because it says Nismo, but it looks nice. Uh, and I bought it because, well, Nissan is the only one with Nismo. Well, you know, I'm not going to buy one that says TRD, right? It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> um... I bought that because the old one was leaking oil. I uh, got the old one right there. And another thing I had to... I had to buy... Uh, a 27 millimeter hex socket. Because I gotta take this big ass thing out. Okay? The biggest one I got is 19. Look at the size. Look at the size difference right there. That's insane. Okay. I I was hoping I was I was hoping that my rack and pinion was different. But I have the model that has this big nut. And I gotta I gotta loosen this out in order to get the rest out. Because behind this there is a tensioner and that tensioner is holding everything in there in place so yeah that's a delay that's also arriving tomorrow <laughs> so we'll we'll see we'll see what we can get done um and i'll give i'll keep you guys updated um also the uh quickly before it dies because i'm at uh six percent nice so quickly uh my hubs my wheel bearings in the front they're torn. They're busted. Uh, I, I went ahead and uh, checked them since, you know, I had the car in the air and I have to wait on parts. Well, I went ahead and checked them and they were, they, they were done. And uh, basically when I took out the, the knuckle, everything came apart by itself. I didn't do much. I didn't have to do much. That's a brand new knuckle. That's the the one for this side. The sad thing about this, uh, I can't really use, uh, I can't reuse the dust shield for the brakes because they're so completely rusted. I was able to take that one out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take the other one out because they're so rusted, completely rusted, and they don't want they don't want to get into. The new knuckle. And here's the sad part. They're supposed to be pressed in. They don't go screwed in. So I'm basically screwed. Because I can't use. Uh, I can't use the dust shield. Because here's the main reason why. The old bearing. The outside wall of the old bearing. It, it completely welded itself into the knuckle. Well, anyways, that's it for for now, guys. That is the end of this video. My battery is literally at 4%. And I'm about to die. So, see you guys later. And I'll see you on the next one.